guys! I'm here today with our senior design engineer, Alan Caldwell, and we're going to do an unboxing of the Form 3 printer. All right, here we go. Go ahead and do the honors, Alan. Let's do it. So in your Form 3 box, you're going to find the Quick Start Guide packet. What's in there? Uh, open that? What's in here is our leveler and a quick start guide of how to set up your printer. Uh, is there any, like, any warranty stuff? or That's already taken care of with you, isn't yep. it? And there's a USB cable. So we'll set this to the side for now. And here is the power cord. That'll come in handy. Maybe we should get a close-up of this guy. Nice. <clears throat> so we're gonna lift it from the box up onto the counter here. All right, one thing you guys should notice is there's a nice little uh, carrying case or handles inside of here. Kind of spools right up here. Big box over there. Okay, so we've lifted the printer out of the box and we're on the counter now, so we're going to take off the. Right, grab a few wrap. of our supplies that we're going to need. So we have our resin, our build platform, and our tank. So we'll show you putting all that stuff in there. So pretty! So inside you can see the LPU off to the side over here. That's one of the main features that's different from the Form 2. Oh. Right. If we read the instructions. We have a little latch here that we need to remove. All right, we've got the LPU uh, retaining tab out, so you don't want to save this stuff. Um, I would recommend a small container, maybe a Ziploc bag, store it with the rest of your parts. So now I'll put the tank in. Set that up and again, these are all uh, instructions on here, pretty clear. This is the mixing, mixing portion. Yes. And what we usually do is, uh, if we have multiple tanks, we will put like a post-it note on here, and then we store them in a cabinet, so you can kind of swap between different tanks if you need to. And these resin tanks are quite a bit bigger than the resin tanks you guys are used to, um, so it'll take a little bit of getting used to, but it's better for printing. Fancy cover. Look at that. Okay. Drop that in. All right, I'm just gonna follow in the instructions, drop it on nice and flat here. If you wanna try to get in here, there's some little grooves. And that should be it. So now we're going to put our build platform on, and you'll notice this is the same exact feature as the Form 2. Looks exactly the same. The difference is there's going to be sensors on the actual printer that will sense when you're putting the build platform on, unlike the Form 2. So there's that. We'll close the lid, and then we'll put a resin in. Put 
that right in the back just like before. And you can see our printer is turning on and loading. Let's do this thing. All right, so we've got the printer set up already. We're gonna go through the start menu. We confirmed that our LPU latch is removed. <clears throat> we'll go ahead and skip setting up our Wi-Fi network for now. Printer leveling. It did come with a level, so we can definitely do that, but I wanna go to the next step just to kind of show you guys what it looks like when it's done. We removed our resin tank from its case. We inserted our mixer. And this is kind of like a foolproof way of letting you guys um, go through the onboarding process just to make sure you're doing everything correctly. Build platform is in, latches down. and we inserted our cartridge of resin. And then it's just letting us know that we can sign up for a dashboard to track everything, like our resin usage and our print queue. And so that'll be your main screen of your printer. And then look for more videos to come on the Form 3 with prints and tips and tricks. And thanks, Alan, for joining us today. See you guys Absolutely. next time.